network automation is in high demand right now and most of the companies whether they have a small to medium or a large network infrastructure they want a way to automate their repetitive tasks such as uh, deploying configuration to network devices and uh, gathering the configuration from these devices and uh, probably also running some compliance checks whether uh, NTP is enabled, SSH is enabled. So these kind of things that have to be done on a regular basis but without a human resource doing it every time that is required. But the biggest problem for these companies is how they're going to get started and which solutions are out there in the market. Well, an easy option is to start using Ansible, the open source IT automation tool that essentially allows you to do things like configuration management, uh, device provisioning and a lot more. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Ansible for network automation using Cisco device. Okay, this is the network that we're going to automate. And before you get excited or scared, no, we're not going to automate all the network devices. We're just going to focus on these four switches, okay? And before we get started in configuring, you have to understand a little bit about how Ansible works. So. Ansible is considered to be an agentless. It means that it doesn't require software to be installed on the network devices. So whatever operation we want to run on the network devices, we're going to send it directly from the Ansible node. And Ansible node is just a fancy way of referring to the Linux machine where we're going to install Ansible. Now Ansible interacts with the network devices through SSH, which means that First, we have to enable SSH on the network devices. So let's get started. So I'm going to remove these and let's bring switch 11. So let me check what do I have here? Okay, so I don't have anything for now. Okay, so let me prepare my script because that's going to be faster to deploy. So IP domain name lead. It's going to be binaryavenue.com then crypto P generate RSA module of uh, four thousand ninety six and yeah I think that's enough. Let's test this. Okay, it did work. So then we're going to enable IPSSH version 2. I'm going to create the user Celesio with privilege 15 and with the password CCI 65745 because we need a username, a user account to log into the network devices. Okay, I want to disable uh, name resolution, no IP domain lookup. Um, I have host name. Okay, so next, let's go to virtual lines and transport input SSH login local. And I think no service timestamp. Yes, and also. Login synchronous, no CDP advertise. Okay. And I have to copy and I need the IP address. And um, 162, So this is going to be the IP address that I'm going to use to manage those devices. So it's going to be 11. I believe that's going to be 61. And no shot. Okay. And copy this transport input. Yep, my bad. Mm -hmm. Get this right. Okay, just want to make sure that uh, the switch will be reachable. Yeah, that's great. Okay, and save that for now. Now let's do the same for 12. It's going to be switch 62. Okay, let's go to configuration and paste. Let's get switch 13. 
hopefully Let's see when we switch 12 yeah double check for three um 30. okay just want to make sure that i can reach uh those devices before starting configuring ansible okay and finally switch 14. okay so that's going to be 64. okay it is 13. Okay, it's working, right? What about 14? Okay, let it run. Okay, keeping 43, 30. Okay, so I know for sure that this device is I enabled SSH and they are reachable and we're going to test SSH in a minute and just for you to understand I have uh, this connection to my external network and on the other side I have a Linux machine an Ubuntu machine uh, where we're going to install Ansible okay this is the machine where we're going to install Ansible but before we do that let's see whether we can reach those uh, switches so if I try to ping 61, 62, 63, and 64, well, I can reach them now. What about uh, SSH? 43, 61, and I can. Recall that Ansible needs to be able to SSH to those devices, which essentially means this machine has to be able to SSH to those devices and i'm getting this error uh this is because the cisco ios uh, uh version is very old and the ciphers are not accepted by default on this version of uh, linux so i have to add these i would say allow uh these ciphers to be accepted here on linux so to do that we're going to type this command so let me create screen so sudo um it's going to be dot ssh config uh it's missing nano okay and i'm going to paste this and save this okay so now let me try again silesium oh, ssh silesium at 43.61 so now yeah i'm able to connect to the switch so let's do the same for all the switches right three see any six five seven four five great and four yes Awesome. So, okay, now we can start installing Ansible. And to do that, uh, I have my script here. Let's see, Ansible installation. And so the first thing is only no problem. So first, uh, we're going to install Python pip. Just going to paste this and confirm. Next, we're going to uh, install, let's see, virtual environment so that we can install um, Ansible in a closed environment. Pip read virtual environment. Okay, great. So next, okay, so let's install this. So create the virtual environment Ansible, and now we're going to activate Okay, I'll clear this a little bit. And now let's begin the installation of Ansible. Okay, now we're going to install these uh, plugins. So, Paramico and PyLib SSH. Okay, awesome. So. Now let's test whether Ansible is 
running okay that's successful and we got the reply okay so this means that now we can start uh, creating our own tasks so the things that we want Ansible to do on the network devices okay first we're going to create a new directory so let's call this my Ansible lab and inside this directory we essentially need to have a couple of files so the first one uh, is going to be the Ansible config file let me show you so first we need to create this ansible config file and i can use just nano ansible.config and i'm going to copy all of these and paste okay so most important thing here to, is that we need these host files this is where we're going to store information about the switches uh, and how we're going to reach them so we're going to save this okay the next one is going to be the inventory files so just going to I think I use the same name and this is where we have information about the switches so I use the different name there no problem so switch 11 12 13 and 14 yeah it's great and last we need to create this directory so group vars underscore vars and inside this directory we're going to create uh, this file or yaml so this is where we store things like uh, the username and the password and how we're going to uh, connect to these network switches so i'm just going to copy this this is also a yaml file just make sure that everything is okay yep save now close this okay let's create our first playbook and a playbook is essentially a list with the tasks or plays that we want to run against the switches so for example let's create uh, this one uh, nano um, get switches uh, host name and os Okay, dot yaml okay, and i'm going to paste this okay so essentially this is going to look at all the devices in the inventory file and it's going to run this module ios facts and based on the information that it's going to collect we want to display only the host name and the os version okay i'm going to save this and to run this playbook we use this command and the playbook name okay so test gathering facts okay so it's, it's going to run one test at a time so the next text guest config for ios device got it and i was going to display the config whatever we want and that's it so the host name is it's displaying the host name and the os is this version so something as simple as that i was able to log on to four switches and uh, return this message now let's create another playbook so that we can create multiple vlans on all the switches at the same time so it's going to be like create um vlan yaml we're going to paste this so get effects no yeah create vlans 10 and 20 so it's going to create these VLANs and it's going to assign the name to these uh, VLANs as well. So I'm going to save this and run the playbook. Create VLANs. Okay, so the first test create VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay, change and it looks like it was created. Let's check that. Uh, let me increase this a little bit and SSH to one of the switches 4361 just make sure that okay we can see that we have the vlan 10 and vlan 20. okay that's awesome now let's suppose that we want to assign an ip address to the interface vlans uh 10 and 20 but only on switch 11. how would we do that well um we can use nano and let's create this new file nano assign ip to vlan 
uh, YAML and I'm going to patch this script. Now, if we try to use Nano for this, uh, sometimes it might work, but I normally prefer to use another tool for this file, YAML files. So I'm going to cancel this. No, I don't want to save. Nope. And instead I'm going to use Sublime and I'm going to create this file. So assign IP to VLAN YAML. Okay, and I'm going to paste here. And here it's easier to identify uh, those uh, lines that are not aligned. And when you try to execute, uh, you're going to see a lot of errors. So by using Sublime or another text editor that allows you to uh, organize the code, the script correctly, uh, it's going to be easier. Okay, so just creating the interface VLAN, assign the IP address, uh, and also enabling the interface and only on switch 11. See here when I refer to switch 11, this is also in the inventory file. Okay, so I'm going to save this and now let's see if I can execute this. Ansible uh, playbook. Uh, and I think that was a sign. Yep. Yeah. Okay, sign IP, so first task, there is only one, assign IP address interface VLAN. And yep, you can see that it says that it was changed. So let's validate this. So SSH to 43.61. Okay, so show IP interface. And we can see we have interface uh, with VLAN 10. And VLAN 20. Now, for some reason, it didn't take effect because the interface should also be uh, down and not administratively down. Uh, let me see the code here. Yes, it did assign the IP address. Okay, probably I have to complete. Okay, let's see. And let's try to run this again. Okay, get rid of facts. Okay, assign IP address. And it's only looks like it's only making one change. Let's double check again. Yes, it's not running the second test for some reason. Anyway, now let's suppose that we want to back up the configuration from all the switches. And so we can also create a new one. Let's see, backup ios config yaml paste this and that's essentially what's going to run so just going to uh, back up the configuration file from these switches and you can see that we have all these files there I'm just going to clear and run the code again ansible playbook that was backup yep Okay, it's running, get in fact, taking backup, and okay, it looks like it was successful. And if we check again, now we have this directory here, backup. And let's see what do we have there. And we have the configuration file for each of the switches. And there are other tasks that you can run, other playbooks that you can create. If you take a look at um, Ansible uh, online documentation, you can find plenty of examples there to start automating your network. So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.